Yo, I'll be sharing with you guys how I got over £15,000 in payouts in literally over a week. Now, I, all I trade is ICT concepts, very, very, very simple. Now, this strategy, not a lot of people teach out there, not a lot of people actually understand it, purely based on the fact that it's so simple that people think it's not profitable. I've rinsed and repeated prop firms and I can show you proof of my payouts. I've got over £15,000 in funding, sorry, in payouts in the last week. Simply train like this and I'll be breaking down my strategy one by one in this video. I'll be giving you a live example at the end of the video as well. So do stick around and watch the whole of the video. I'll be showing you my whole strategy. Remember the whole thing or all, all purely based on ICT concepts. Now I can also show you guys proof. As you can see in our free telegram, I got a $7,600 payout there. And that was literally just this week. And then I also got a $7,500 pound pay on the 3rd of may which was literally last week literally a week apart from each other so remember do join our free telegram in the link below we do have a mentorship very 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 cheap literally for 49.99 for a lifetime and not only that anyone who comes from youtube and i mean anyone gets an absolutely free hft pass that means we'll pass 100k 200k 50k prop firm challenge for you and pass it for you completely hands-free just in celebration of my payouts for the last week i'll be doing this completely free so do join our telegram in the link below now jumping straight back into the video i'll be breaking down exactly how my strategy works a step-by-step -step, a checklist so you guys can actually take note and implement this into your trading straight away and how you can actually be profitable and get payouts just like i did first you guys need to understand what pairs i actually personally trade and what pairs the setup um uh, strategy actually works on so i'll be noting that down so make sure you guys do take notes so you can work, use this on uh, euro usd you can use it on gbp usd you can also use it on gold now gold is my personal favorite i do love trading gold it's so volatile it just gives you those perfect retracements um exactly what you need for an ict strategy so euro usd gbp usd now and gold obviously now what times are you going to be trading right what i personally the only session that i trade is a london open kill zone uh, that is going to be from 2 a.m to 5 a.m now i want you guys to understand that the timings that i'm referring to is all new york timing so whatever your local timing is please do convert that into your local timing um because ICT does always talk regarding New York timing, so I'll be referencing it the same way. So London Open Kill Zone and New York Open Kill Zone. Now, your New York Open Kill Zone is going to be from 7 a.m. till 10 a.m., okay? So make sure you guys note that down. So you can actually trade both sessions using this strategy. Now, what I do recommend is if you do have a winning trade within London, uh, do not trade New York. Just have enjoy the rest of your day. Go about your day. Don't um, kill those profits, right? So... London Open Kills are now what is my actual strategy? So you need to be in a four hour PD array. So we're going to be using four hour PD arrays, um, using them as targets or um, where price is going to react from. Okay, so four hour PD arrays is going to be your target. So where price is going to react from now, four hour PD array is also going to form your higher time frame bias okay so that's your higher time frame bias taking into account now higher time frame bias is very very important when trading i know a lot of people do just teach execution styles however i want to teach you the whole thing okay break down from higher time frame down to entries and everything so i'll be showing you everything in this video so do make sure you watch till the end uh form your sorry that's meant to say higher time frame bias okay so four hours is going to be your higher time frame bias now what you want to see on your lower time frames, right? Um, lower time frame, or sometimes, sometimes you will not have this four hour PDRA, or you can have lick liquidity sweeps, okay? Or you can have liquidity sweeps. So either four hour PDRA or liquidity sweep, you can work with both of those, okay? So that's that. Um, next thing you want to know is um, your five minute entry technique. Now our five minute entry technique is going to be a market structure shift slash dis displacement. So our five minute entry technique is gonna be a market structure shift or displacement. Oh, sorry, market structure shift along with displacement. That was very key. I'll be showing you that guys in just a second. Um, 
order blocks or fair value gaps okay very 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 simple now this is how simple my strategy is going to be okay guys so it's going to work on euro usd gbp usd gold trade from you can trade london kill zone or new york kill zone you're going to be using a four hour pd array uh, to be your targets or where price is going to react from uh, just to form your higher time frame bias or if you can't um, sort of form that you can use a much simpler version of just liquidity sweeps as you know the market is all liquidity and now our entry technique is going to be on the five minute time frame uh, what you want to see is a market structure shift coupled with displacement and then you want to use a order block or fair value gap as your actual entry um, execution model now if i just make this a little bit smaller so first things first right what you're going to want to do is just mark out your london open kill zone now i don't have to mark it out just purely based on the fact that i know it off by heart so for example say this is 2 a.m say this is 5 a.m right so i've marked out my london time and now what am i going to do prior to my session i'm going to let price do exactly what it wants so it's not up to me so let me just change this to black sorry so whatever the market does is totally up to the market of course if it goes up down up down is totally now when it comes to your session right remember what i said you're either going to be waiting to be within a four hour pd array or you're going to get some liquidity suits now me personally i love using liquidity suits it's so simple very very straightforward it doesn't take a lot of analysis either uh, you can sort of identify it with the naked eye now liquidity suits what is liquidity it can be significant highs and lows or session highs and lows so as you can see i'm going to be using this significant high and then i'm going to use this significant low as my liquidity areas okay so We've got buy side liquidity, we've got sell side liquidity. Now, what you want to wait for is if you're using liquidity sweeps, you simply want to wait for your buy side or sell side to get taken. Now, depending on which one gets taken, if buy side gets taken, you're going to be looking for sells. Why? Because above buy side liquidity is sell stops. Now, if sell side liquidity gets taken, you're going to be looking for buyers. Why? Because below sell side liquidity is buy stops. So make sure you guys do rewind that if I did speak a bit fast, but do take note of that. So you're going to let your... Um, session commence and then simply wait for liquidity to get swept now once liquidity gets swept you need to drop into a five minute entry technique now i will be showing you guys my strategy in a live example in just a second after i sort of explain it so remember so once we get that you want to drop into a five minute time frame right and now you want to see some form of market structure shift okay as you can see here we had the market structure shift low being taken out we're seeing a reversal from our liquid after our liquidity sweep. Now we need to understand that we get a displacement through our low. Okay, what is displacement, guys? Everyone here should know what a displacement is by now. Um, if I get out my, this is a displacement candle, big body, big energetic candle that breaks that low. Okay, we don't want wiki candles breaking it. We want big bodies, big energy to sort of be breaking that low. So once we actually do get that displacement. All we now got to wait for is an order block or a fair value gap. You can choose either one. I do personally like using order blocks myself. So, for example, say there's an order block there. Now, all we have to do, this is the patience side of trading. I know everyone here is patience, 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 but doesn't actually know what it means. Now, this is the patient side. We simply wait for a retra retracement. Sorry. We get our entry and then target the opposing liquidity. So, I'll make this in red just to let you know, guys know that this is the entry. Now, if we don't get this retracement, there is no entry, okay? This is where discipline actually comes into play. Remember, guys, be disciplined in trading. Very mechanical strategy, very checklist-type strategy. Not hard to understand, um, but do uh, follow everything, uh, everything check by check, and I promise you, you will be profitable with under a month, easily under a month, and could be getting payouts just like I did. So I'm going to be showing you guys a live example of a live trade just so you guys get an understanding. But before I do that, please, 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 please do join the Telegram in the link below. Remember, anyone who comes through will get a free prop firm challenge uh, passed by us just in celebration of my payouts. As you guys can see, we, we send out trade ideas, why we're taking certain trades, um, breakdowns of trades, signals, uh, my payouts, etc. So do join that in the link below. So now jumping back into the video, I'm going to be showing you guys a live example. So I'll be showing you a live example. Now I do use these indicators to mark out my um, New York and London open. So as you can see here, this is going to be marking out my London kill zone from 2 a.m. to um, about 10 a.m. 
and uh, then we've got the New York one here as well. So if you want to use this exact same indicator, it is called KZ Boxes, ICT Mentorship by Unknown Something. And then you can use my settings if you do want to as well. These are my settings and these are the colors here as well. So this one, I'll be choosing New York Kill Zone to be trading. So like I said, either four, four hour PDRA, um, so this can be a four hour order block if it's moving away from there, but I like using liquidity sweeps. That is my personal favorite and that is what I do for my strategy. Personally, however, you can use higher time frame bias as well. So firstly, mark our liquidity. So this is our sell side liquidity. Now, where is our high gonna be? Now we don't really have that much of a significant high. I'd wanna see that getting taken out as a significant high. So that's gonna be my buy side liquidity. Now we simply wait for New York to start. As you can see, as soon as New York started, right, you see how sell side liquidity gets swept. Now remember, it doesn't have to have a body close, it can just be a wick, it does not matter as long as, long as liquidity has been taken, okay? So we've got a liquidity sweep, we now jump into the five minute. Uh, within our five minute, we now need to seek a market structure shift alongside displacement, okay guys? So the high that needs to be taken is, um, this is the last high. So we need to get some sort of market structure shift through there. So whilst we wait, or you see we had a market structure shift, however, remember it needs to be with displacement. Remember what I said, a wiki candle is not displacement, guys. That is not displacement. We do not count that as displacement. So we need to see some big body energetic candle through. Boom, we get that big energetic candle. See how there's barely any wick and there's a big body through, right? Done. So now, as soon as we get that um, displacement through the market structure shift as well, we need to now outline an order block. So uh, let's get our rectangle. Now we have an order block, last down close candle before our big impulse and move up and we simply wait for a retracement in, get a retracement, and then that is exactly where we take our entry. Just gonna just below the low, and then we're going to place our stop loss, uh, take profit just at this channel and liquidity, pretty nice one to two risk to reward ratio. As that plays out, boom, take profit gets absolutely smashed. See how simple this strategy is, and like I said, I did get my personal payouts uh, that are shown in my telegram as well so make sure you do join that in the link below our lifetime membership is literally 49.99 less than literally sometimes when you guys go out with your friends on the weekend is way less and this will actually help change your life and alongside we'll be passing 100k 200k prop funds for absolutely free in celebration of my payouts and just the rapid growth of this channel so i hope you guys did enjoy this video i hope it was very insightful um, if you guys do ever need to contact me, do message our Telegram um, and I am happy to help you guys out.